Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And here we are with our company, which we started before Christmas. So yeah, I hope everyone had a great Christmas, got everything they wanted, ate too much, was merry, jolly, all the rest of it. And actually in the UK, actually I hope you got where you wanted to go, because I know trains here were dreadful and roads were awful and the rest of it. So I hope everyone's been safe travelling. Anyone in America, I hope you're surviving those winter storms. Um, I like a bit of snow, but that's too much. They always say it's bigger in America, and that is totally true. Like You've gone big on that snow and cold weather over there. I hope you're all safe. That does look dreadful. Anyway, returning back to more important issues. <laughs> more important issues. Well, returning back to the game, at least. Oh, here we are, just jumping forward. We've been assigning buses while I've talked. We've seen that lots of buses being assigned. It is the m usual morning routine. Get the buses out, assign their routes, get the drivers going, get the money rolling in. And while this is very usual for today, we are mixing things up a little bit. It's not only that we're going to be painting this bus, but also, if you've noticed, all the buses we're assigning are only the Intercity LEs and the LFSs. No Citros yet. That is because, God bless the poor Citros, they've been with us since the start, the old faithfuls. Today is a sad day. Today is the end of an era. End of the first era. Start of a new one with that double decker going out there. But these beauties, these lovely buses, the old Citros, being with us from day one. Oh, interrupting us here. We'll get this one painted and then back to it. I always forget when you send a bus in, it'll interrupt you. So these beauties, being with us since the day of the start, they are no longer up to it. They have had their day. Max capacity of 38. Our network has grown too big. And our depot can't keep up with it. I think it's time that we replace them with something bigger. So all of these buses are now going to be sold. We're going to try and get the biggest bit, biggest, the most amount possible. Oh, I'm struggling with English. Take a few days off over Christmas and my mind goes to jelly. Mmm, jelly. Anyway, yeah, I'll try and get my head back in the game. But yeah, we're going to sell, sell all these, try and get as much as possible. And then we're going to try and replace them all with some Intercity LE buses and maybe a few deckers, see what we get. So we're going to get them all on. I've been trying to count how many we're up to. I think there's 11 or 12 of them. This now nine ten, I think. Catch them up there. Let's get all the money possible for it. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, I think I think it's twelve. I might have to go back and double check. I will pop it up on the screen now. How many there are? Okay, yeah, there were twelve, and you're already getting offers on them. Some good offers, some medium offers, and some rubbish offers. I'm going to be a bit greedy with what I take because I want the money, because I'm a money gra grabber, that's about it. Anyway, time to start replacing them. So we take out that 170,000 loan. So we now have quite a bit. And the aim now is we're just going to come speeding through. And I'm after, basically I want 12 Intercity LEs of these ones. Yep, we've got one we're off, up and running. And then sometimes when we lowball all these other ones to try and cycle through and get those um, Intercity LEs. We will pick up a few other random ones. So we, we've already got a couple of other ones. Have uh, we got any success? There we go. Jumping way up. Now three in cities and three three other ones. If we get a Decker, well, they'll be useful. They're going to grow. So I will keep them. But the aim is really to get as many of the Intercity LEs as I can while my budget lasts. I've only got, I mean, I'm already halfway through a money plus. And I've only got four of the um, all, four of the ones that I desire. Quite a few other ones, but we'll see how we go racing through at the moment. There we go, up, up to five. Appears to be quite a few others that have been stopped. So it's always amazing me when you offer the lowest amount possible and the offer gets accepted. You would have thought, you'd have thought it would be less prevalent than that, but yeah, we've already got eight, eight of the other ones. I mean, I would never accept the lowest bid possible, but I suppose I'm not the one who, who owns those ones. 
But the aim is basically once we, when, when all these other ones turn in, they'll go straight back in the market for the highest bid possible and try and replace it. So I've taken out that second bid now that our money ran out. We were only halfway to our target. So we have another 60 grand brought into brought in. And here we go. We're still going through. Got 10 others. Come on, I can do with a few more of these, um, of the single deckers that I'm after. As I said before, the reason why I'm after the Intercity LE in particular is because that's my main bus in the fleet at the moment. And although it doesn't make much difference in the game, I also like the idea that we have a uniformed fleet of not too many different, different makes. Because it would make it easier for the garage, it would make it easy for everyone else. Anyway, our money has run out, and here come the buses. We've got one there, and whoa, look at that, they're all bundled on top of each other. I'll be pretty pissed off that they've not been more careful delivering them. I spent a lot of money on getting all of these. Looks like we've got a few waiting outside, we've filled in all our spots, but... Hopefully once we get a few of these moving, and a few of the other buses out. So it is only early morning, so what, it's basically 7 in the morning, and we still... Still got buses going out for the for the um, for the morning service, so we should be able to get the rest of these buses in soon. And that's the last one coming in now. Anyway, I'm just going to work through this lot, sending the buses to the garage where they need it, cleaning up where they need it. I think some of them need a lot of cleaning, and selling all of these buses, which I inadvertently brought along with everything else. So off they go, off they go. No, yeah, you're already on the market, cool. Yeah, you're on Airbnb No 12, you can be sold. But yeah, so stuff like that, if we bought it for 13 and we can sell it close to that 16 and a half or whatever the uh, top bid was there, we should be able to recoup some of the money that we spent on our buses. We might be able to even have a second round of purchasing later on. So let's just get all these buses in and going. It's getting a bit, a bit hectic with everyone moving around in the depot. Yeah, get that one assigned. Got the old whip. The old Whipton Hospital. Where's the, where the free one that we're looking at? Well, we've got a bit of time. We'll go around and we'll see if we can get any more of these buses organized, ready to go out. It's going to take a while finding more of these buses that need to go on to sale. Are you one that, yeah, you can, you need to be sold. I bought you for 9 8 and that's 12 7 if I, 12,700 if I can get you sold. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you need a lot of work on you. I'm amazed I still have enough pieces to fix them all enough in the, um, in the stores. I mean, there's a lot of buses in the garage at the moment, just making things more tricky, but We'll get him cleaned and washed up. There we go. I think it's time to see what offers we're getting. Yes, you're opposite maximum. You're pretty close to maximum, we'll take you. No, 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 no. You're far too low. Far too low. Far too low. Yeah, that's pretty decent. We'll take that one. Maximum deal, we'll take that one. And we'll do that. So we've got rid of a whole bunch of buses and a few more spaces have now opened up in the depot. And that has brought the cash rolling back in, rolling in. Look at that, 61 and a half, 62,000 euros already. And we've had a big, a big day of spending. Yeah, let's get that one fixed there. Yep, yeah, the next free mechanic will get you, you can be sold. I know I've been using these buses, but I currently have six LFSs in my, in my fleet, and I have six small bays the five across here and the one over here so that they, my current five can park in there hey any decent offers no you're being embarrassing stop offering such low bids we'll take that one okay yes do you want to take that offer that's good full amount happy days can we get another one in Will you accept? Will you accept this offer? How much are we offering? Nine and a half. No, it's being rejected. Nineteen and a half. Sorry, not nine and a half. I forgot that one at the front. So 
to get you cleaned up. Get the clean ready. Poor cleaners coming having to deal with some of these buses as they're rolling in in this disgusting state. People have no standards with public buses. That said, I'm shipping them out in that sort of standard too, so I can't really complain. What's going on over here? Oh, I keep finding buses that I've managed to escape my spree of getting them in for se for selling and stuff. But the longer we go around, the more we can keep finding them and get everything organised. But we are only a couple of hours since our big purchase. We're basically, it's basically nine in the morning and we have most of them already rolling along. We have 90 grand back into the bank. It looks pretty busy in our customer service centre. Um, has to go, had to, had to keep an eye on that one. We'll probably need to expand that again soon. So the question was when I grew it a couple of episodes ago, would it be enough? It looks like I am leaning towards, no, no, it is not going to be enough because that is filling up rapidly. And as we have plans soon to start vastly expanding our network, particularly now we've got all these buses that we can use. I don't, I don't, see it being enough for long enough. Uh, oh. He's pretty much organised. If we get a bit of... There we go. Bus getting is our first one painted up, done, fixed, ready to go. Start getting another one in there soon. Yep, through you go. Because I think we're going to be needing you in service very soon. Now that we've lost those 12 buses, there we go, you're brand, well, you're brand new to us, you came in with a knackered heap, but you're brand new to us, time to get you out and recuperating that money on that we spent on you. There we go, let's start getting these deckers in too. I'm going to start going through all these offers. No, no, no. You can't offer me so low. No, take that one, it's nearly there. God, that's pathetic, isn't it? No, the offer at least ten and a half for that one. No. Oh, an offer came straight back in. What was that one? Yeah, why not? It was nearly nine. It was a little lower than I wanted, but I need to get them out. We've got all these new buses coming in and we didn't have any spare space to start off with, so it will probably be a useful thing for us to get started. Right, it's time for us to probably just sign this bus. There we go. And there's another new bus just rolling out of the paint shop, ready to go on our next sort of service. And we can just keep going through getting these this lot sorted out. Okay. There's no free lifting platform yet. The poor mechanics are probably working their fingers to the bone at the moment. It's been a bit of an influx of buses. Didn't expect it all to be working so well, but it is all coming together. And I haven't really had an issue yet of running out of buses. I've had a lot of problems in the past with buses running out. Oh wow, look at that, it's getting really busy in there now. We well, know it's only a 15 minute wait, but look at them all. Look at them all. Well, they look at them all buying their weekly tickets. That's just what you like to see, isn't it? All that money coming in. Talking of money coming in, 109,000 euros. That's doing quite nicely. We still have a lot of buses to be sold. Okay, it seems to be hovering around the 10 or 15 minutes in there, which is not ideal, but it'll do for now. Like We can hold off growing that service centre for a while. Well, particularly when we have more important things to sort out, like getting all of our lovely, lovely new buses organised and out ready to go. I find that bus a little bit distracting sometimes. I know he's not one that we are keeping, but he looks very similar. God, 5,000 when I asked him for 13. No, that's embarrassing. Ooh, that's close. Close to what I wanted there for that LFS, but not quite. Okay. You can probably go again and get painted now. It's just a lot of flicking from one side to the other trying to keep on top of everything as they go. Are you ready for the next paint shop? You can get a bit of a cleaner on you. 
And we've still got a few of the Citros lounging around. But that's it, four there, and another one a bit further out. So we've got, still basically got half of them left. Do we have a um, LFS ready to go? Yes, we do. We've got one just there. We'll get him sorted out. And this one painted. Nice job. That means this one, which was waiting earlier, or that, either one, we'll get them into the paint shop. Yeah, you were first in line, so you can get that paint job. You're ready to go. Get some cleaners on these ones. They've been out today. I know we've been a bit preoccupied with all our new buses, but we'll get the other one sorted out. Yep, that's another one gone. Another one gone. No, you're even worse that offer. People don't get the, under, um, the idea of bidding in this. They, offer, they go, would you take basically 14 grand for a bus? I go, no, I want more for that. I'm asking like 18. So they offer 10. They don't quite understand that's not how it works. But, oh well, hopefully next time they will re realise. Let's get you fixed up. I love that fetching yellow on the bus there. Yep, you're all ready pretty much. Get you painted up. And then it's time to get the next one in there. So we are rolling through this paint shop now pretty quick. Which is good because we've got the next round of assigning buses to go. So you can go out on that one, get a bit of fuel in you. Then you have a whip on you. What do you need? Now you're pretty good. You're already. We have a couple of new ones there ready to go when we get the chance. Let's get that next bus in the paint shop. Where is, where is the one that I want to, want to send in there? Well, it wasn't you. Well, you know, you're getting your brakes pad sorted. What was going on? You're all sorted pretty much. We will take, send you to the paint shop. Damn it, I forgot the white one was on the ne next in line. I knew I had something that I was looking for. Pfft, some arse. I just want those gone. Now, get them out of the way. See how we're getting on. We're making, well, we've made some pretty good recovery funds. Yeah, we'll take that one. It's 175,000 left sitting around already. So ho hopefully we won't be left in too much of a difficult situation after this outlay. There we go, you can take that one out. Take her out on her first spin, be, be gentle with her. There we go. Already our depot is looking a lot emptier. This is amazing. We were it's midday. It's midday and we've already sold half of our excess buses and basically fixed up, painted and cleaned like seven new buses plus two deckers. We are doing pretty well for ourselves. Um yeah sent all of them to, to do stuff and I needed to assign them assign them jobs. Oops. There we go, now they're all getting sorted. It's slightly annoying sometimes when it pauses when you're trying to assign buses. Like it's also a good thing, but it's also annoying when you go I quite like to play it forward so the buses can free themselves up ready to be reassigned. Anyway, I have just remembered that that white bus is now going in for a paint. He should be in there any minute now. But yeah, we probably need a couple of new drivers because we are... We have a lot of new buses. So Lebby, Lebby Franks, welcome to the team. Nice to have you on board. No, go away, you're five grand under the asking price. Yeah, let's get you cleaned up. Let's start assigning these, which is probably left it a bit last minute because that bus was just reversing into the... um into the paint bay as I started this. Well, I've got another another one assigned before he came in. Yep, look at him there. And do we have anything else? Yep, well he's already got just driving out ready to go. And I was like, yep. On the road. Okay, you're nearly sorted too. 
I am impressed with how well my team has got through all of this. I thought we were looking at a couple of days worth of worth of work sorting out all these buses. I thought I shot myself in the foot taking all those taking twelve buses off the road first thing in the morning. But it assumes that I have managed to do all right and we have have it all up and running again. Okay, up and running again. It never wasn't up and running. So how are our services doing? So you want to do the Whipton Hospital an hour earlier, an hour later, and now with a 90 minute driving interval compared to the two hours. So we have got some more buses. Uh, 15 minutes later. Okay, so the extra arena wants to slow down its rush hour to every 15 minutes from every 10 minutes. At the Nuffield Hospital on the Nuff, what are you doing an hour earlier, an hour later, and every 30 minute driving intervals. It was an hour, so we probably need another bus on that route on the Nuff. And then what are you doing? Oh, you are complaining that you've been overworked, been piling up lately. Yeah, I mean, you're not fully stressed out, but you are pretty stressed there. So that's probably fair, something that we need to be looking at. Because it's been, it's been busy and I keep going, we'll sort it out, we'll sort it out. But I haven't really been able to yet, so we might have to look at a few more staff. I mean, 27 isn't really that many. So welcome to, this, to the team. Carolyn, you are looking pretty effective. Anyone else here looking cheap? No, we'll come back and check in a minute and see if this refreshing brought anyone else new in. You probably need to get painted up. Can I get you painted? No, the paint shop is busy. Oh yeah, that lovely fetching yellow bus is in there, isn't there? We'll get him sorted soon. All sorted. Yeah, you can take it. You'll take the H from now on that one. Uh, we probably need to wait because all these buses are assigned jobs, I believe. Maybe I did speak too soon about not getting too bogged down with too many um, buses off the road. It's about now that we really start feeling the pressure. It'd be nice to come tomorrow when we have only every 10 minutes, but every, every 15 minutes on the BCAR, a place every 10, because hopefully that will save us a bus. I'm not sure we Oh, Jackie, you're not very friendly, but you are reliable. Hmm, I'm torn on you. Is there anyone better? The trouble is most people aren't very very reliable. I suppose it's the natural, the natural problem in the UK. We have a few friendly people, but are we reliable? Some are. I feel like I work with incompetent people, particularly when I drove public buses. Maybe that's what I need to be hiring, those incompetent, friendly people. I feel sorry. I feel really bad for any of them that are actually watching this or hearing me saying this. But no, when I worked on public buses, drivers do complain a lot. Not always, and they always claim they're doing a really good job, which is probably like, they all probably think they're all super reliable on there. Turns out that they're not half the time. Anyway, let's have another look. Who who do we have here? Winnie Winnie Poser, great surname again. Welcome to the team, Winnie. And we'll take you, Jackie. I know you're not vape. I know we were, we were sort of bowed about you for a bit, but hopefully that was all discussions after the interview and that you didn't really hear us. Otherwise, this might be a bit embarrassing. We might already have a tribunal on our hands. <laughs> That's all right. They're not unionized, I don't think. Thank God. Otherwise, I'd have a real issues with our workload. Anyway, the plan now is we've got through most of these repairs it's time to start filling up our store again they were looking a little bit low so the aim is i have had six in my warehouses six of each bit but i think it's time now just to up that to seven we've got lots of buses there's lots of repairs that i think are going to be needed on my normal fleet we've got through a lot of these and it's just nice not having to wait for spare parts like we annihilated that big pile of knackered buses very quickly. Like my team has worked well. Right. Hopefully the mechanics can hear this. They've done a good job. That's a solid thumbs up from management. Solid thumbs up. Oh yeah. Well, we'll put a decker on that one as a one-off. Why not? And we'll just have to play through and hope some more buses return for these ones soon. Yes, yeah, this time of day, it's around around half past two, three, four o'clock. It's when the next wave of evening buses go out. It gets really difficult. I know I've been rejecting prices like that, but I think it's time 
to take that sort of money just to get them out of the way before this evening are you back are you new oh There's another one. How is it doing now? I've got to keep an eye on this. Okay, every five minutes. It does look busy and it's a bit alarming when you see everyone there, particularly with their big speech bubbles over their head, but it's nice seeing so many weekly tickets being brought. Do we have a spare LFS? No, I don't think we do, but we've got lots and lots of Institute LEs coming back in. I do like how they look. They are quite boxy, but they they look like how they they look how they need to do, but they, but they look like they can do a job. I mean, I mean, of course they look how they need to look. They're a bus and they look like a bus. I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I just like rambling absolute rubbish. But we're eight episodes in. If you haven't realised that by now, I don't know where you've been. Come on, any more of them? Any more of them? Typical. I send. Send a uni off wanting one of those and then it comes back straight away. Ah, oh, here they all come, yes. Let's get these buses out. <laughs> That's going to be a busy one on that route. Well, it's going to be a big bus for that route. And then do we have one more for the whip? Do we just give it a minute, checking that again? Still five minutes. That's... Oh, here comes the bus. Yep, I know you've just come back in, but... You're going straight back out again in a moment. Will I take you? No, that's still not good enough. Okay, look at that. We're making some made some all right money and some good sales. So I'm going to repay you one of these. I think we've got plenty of money in the bank. That one was the most to repay us, fourteen hundred a day to of repayments. So we will repay that one. That will save us a bit of money, and we will now carry on trying to find more of our Intercity LEs. It's always annoying when you get that rejected one. You're just like, oh, I could have just offered it 100, 200 more. Maybe we, we, would, have, we would have got it. But it is what it is. Let's just carry on going through. Okay, money gone, and I think we still need another three Intercity LEs to replace all those lost Citros. But we do have three new deckers in our fleet, so maybe that balances it out. Come on, let's get you fueled. I think our repair jobs here are going to take a little bit longer, just partly because I haven't got, haven't got all the spare parts in anymore but we're through the worst of the day so let's get all these random ones sold let's get them out and get on with the day So this is probably going to seem a bit like deja vu for some of you, but all these buses need to get repaired, cleaned, washed and fueled. I know we've gone through a lot of this already in this episode, but we're going to go through it one more time. At the moment, some of these buses might have to wait till tomorrow to be fixed, as we're just short of a few spare parts on some of them. Yeah. I mean, after early with all those buses, this now seems a bit easy and sort of a bit too easy in a way. We have um, all this all this, this spare time and I was used to going through it, having like eight buses to fix, not one or two. Okay. 
Ooh, we've got a few more offers. No, I don't want to take that one. I'll take that one, that's nearly there. And you are just too low. Too low. I want 19,000, not 11 for that one. Offer me over 17 and maybe I'll consider it. Typical, I knew our drivers would start breaking things again. But I suppose as the day is drawing to the close, it's now just gone 9 o'clock in the night. It's time for us to start, repair, um, start sorting out our fleet that has just come back for the day. Oh, I don't want to take that one. Yeah, I just want them out of the way. I take, yeah, I mean, same with that one. I just need those buses gone right now. I hung out as long as possible waiting for some money. Yeah, that's probably flossy Klaus. Complaining about being too busy again. Probably only fair then that we get a couple more, more bus drivers here. There's anyone decent here who we can get? Chris, Chris Kutz? Mm, not too reliable, but Flores Hunt, you are looking very reliable. Fairly friendly. Chris, you're charming me with all that friendliness. You're not asking for too much money, are you? You can do Yeah, you've done it. Welcome to the team, you two. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that one. I want you gone. I need you a Citro. I need you out. That's tough. It's probably close to what I paid for. I'd, I'd like to have gained a few more, a few more euros for that one. But I do want him gone. I need the space. Yeah, no, I'll save it later. Let's see if we can get on a bit, bit longer. So things have moved, moved along fairly nicely. Let's see if we can reorganize a whole bunch of these um these routes to try and save us try and save us a few buses here there so we can make a few more routes. So this was our H route which has been using the Citrus on since the start. It's only got a maximum of 35, so we can probably reduce the service down and see how that how that goes. Hopefully try and save one of those three buses. Every 20 minutes up to 40 up to 40 to 80 people. 15, will that still keep us with two buses on the road at rush hour? Yes, yes it will. That seems perfectly fine, we'll confirm that one. Now let's have a look, let's see what else we have down here. So the pen, that is another one, but Jesus, that's making us a lot of money. Seven, over 70 grand in the last seven days. It's the most profitable route here by a long way, actually. I mean, the ages are also doing well. Maybe that's just because it's been running longer and they haven't had seven days to do it. Not sure. Ooh, look at that, you're busy. 60 to 170. You are taking up four buses, but I don't think I can reduce you down. Uh, you are busy, and I'm just going to have to accept that you're taking up four of my new intercity LEs. What other routes do I have down here that was using a Citro? Oh yeah, the old RA. I say the old, it's a fairly new route. 
So you're doing 75 to 175. What if I change you? I should hopefully still go to save one bus. Just 20 minutes that there we go. 80 to 175. We'll just have to drop. You just 20 minutes just round the clock. So that saves me another bus. There you go. 55 to 130. It's busy. We'll be leaving a few people behind. Not ideal, but could be worse. Anyway, I think that was all the buses set up for using the Citros. We've got two saved. Oh, that's not bad. Nearly 10 for 11, so that's gone. No, sorry. You're not offering enough on that one. I will save them for a bit longer. Hold out hope for a better offer. Oh, let's continue getting these buses ready for us tomorrow. Let's get the cleaners in. Oh, I haven't got any spare V-belts, so you're going to have to keep going with that one. It's not too bad a situation for you. Look at that, made some good money. Let's talk about repayments here. This might be worth getting rid of a loan soon. So I could repay the 80,000 one. That only requires 70. But it's only asking for 938. Well, that's asking for 1,286 a day repayment. I might hold on another day, see if I can get the money required to repay that one. Because that will save me about 250 a day. Although it doesn't sound like a lot, every little does help. Like that's, That will make a big difference to my finances, getting that one sorted. So, yeah. I was, actually, oh, I was trying to have a look at here to see how our buses are getting on. So it's nearly 11 o'clock at night. Let's zoom out and have a look. How many buses do we have? Oh, no, let's get the good position on that one. My mouse is sort of struggling being effective today. I mean, how many buses was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we've got nine of them still going at 11 at night. And they're not empty. Well, I say that. The bus at the bottom is... He is, he is empty, but the rest still have a few people on there going around, still making a bit of money. So is it worthwhile? Hopefully we can still get a few more, few more thousand signed up and we can make it easier getting that loan we paid for tomorrow. That's quite satisfying to look at. Anyway, I think in the next episode it's time that we expand this because we've covered Exeter quite well. But I know we haven't done over here or this section over here, but we might be able to get a couple of routes in there with those with some of our new buses quickly and then as the map grows we're going to move further afield in all directions break free of the limitations of being in exeter and wander out into the countryside and we're back in here do we have enough space for those nine buses but one up there two that only two two bays i got left i think it was i think i need to, need to expand a bit more oh, and i've got those two as well those two little ones so I think we're really talking about having four spare bays for those nine buses. I think it's time that we just do a temporary bit of, well, no, not, not the petrol station, a temporary bit of work in here to get a few more bays in. Um, it's going to ruin the look of how my, my depot to be, but we'll put one in. Oh, I can only fit one in. I was hoping I could, could have got more in. How many across here? Two. Again, I was hoping for three. But anyway, those three with those four, seven, so we're Two. Oh, you're asking maximum, so you're gone. That's six. So that's most of our buses parked up now, I think. We're getting we're getting there. Anyway, I think this is where the episode needs to end. It's already dragged out more than long enough. It's been a nice long one. Been productive, though. We've upgraded our fleet. It is a lot bigger. Quite literally now, they're all, they're all the larger buses. None of those 38-seater rubbish anymore. Um, so that's good. And we are ready to go tomorrow, ready to go for tomorrow. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy the rest of your into Christmas period between Christmas and New Year. Stay safe wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Until then, ciao and happy new year. <laughs>